All right, man, what a great night tonight. This has been amazing. I love that you're here with your family to support you, such as it is. Uh, well, no, it's like, that's great, because my family's never supported me at all. It's like, I remember when I was a kid, I got upset with my mom. I said, I'm not part of this family. I was adopted. She said, yes, you were, but they brought you right back. <sighs> The weather's been nuts this year. I'm from South Georgia. I cannot handle this cold. I actually, it got so cold, I built a blanket fort in my house and started dancing in it to keep warm. Uh, yes, now is the winter of my disco tent. <laughs> That's exactly what that deserved. Uh, as you can tell, I'm looking hot. Thank you very much. No, I've been working out because uh, women tell me they like a guy with a sense of humor. And that tells you something very important about me. I am the kind of man that women lie to. <laughs> women don't want a guy with a sense of humor. They want a strong, sexy, confident guy with a sense of humor. Sense of humor's icing on the cake. Strong, sexy, confident, that's your cake. You don't have that, you get a girl that eats icing from a can. It sucks, because I, I want to get married. I really do. It's like, because I don't believe the myths. Like, do we have any married couples in the audience? Couple making out, are you married? No, just dating? Like, like, are you thinking about getting married? Sir, is there anything you want to tell us all here tonight? Okay, <laughs> no comment. Well, no, it's like, the myth is that once you get married, your, se your sex life stops. I, I don't believe that at all, because uh, I've had sex with lots of married women, and it's always awesome. I want to get one, but apparently they're all seeing somebody now. Uh, no, those are all old jokes. I actually have a girlfriend now, uh, but I don't think it's going to work out because I, I just don't feel like I'm the kind of guy who can write new material. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys like sports? Anybody? You know, sports people? Oh, see? I try. I can't. Uh, like, because I grew up with a generation that had video games, which are better. Like, I watch a basketball game, I get disappointed when a guy doesn't catch fire and do three flips before slam dunking. You know, like, I watched NASCAR once, spent the entire time praying for a blue turtle shell. <laughs> oh, but, like, I, I try. Like, I, I watch the Super Bowl every year. Uh, I don't really care about the teams. I just root for the team that has the fewest rapists on it. Because uh, I like an underdog story, you know? Uh, but my friends are like, okay, fine. We can get you into fantasy football. And I say, awesome. I show up in costume. <laughs> Tell them I'm foreign punt kicker, half dwarf and linebacker for the Mortal or Mothers. With plus three cleats of sprinting and an amulet containing the tears of Tim Taboo. <laughs> and they're like, nah, man, that's not how we do it. What we do is we take the statistics from the game, we add them all up, and then we see who wins. I'm like, damn. All the cool stuff about football. The violence, the athleticism, the cheerleaders. And you guys decided you liked the math the best. <laughs> I am there in full chain mail thinking, what a bunch of nerds. <laughs> all right, I gotta get out of here. I wanna leave you with like, some a little educational though, because uh, I, I feel that you should learn from this experience. Uh, you guys know who Stephen Hawking is? Brilliant physicist, right? I learned something about him that I did not know. Stephen Hawking is British. You cannot tell from his accent, can you? <laughs> all right, guys, I've been Thomas Jenkins. Thank you all very much. <laughs>